Nobody tells Sergeant Deplorable. But I've started a second ship of the line. <laughs> this one's going to be a 64 to counter his two 32-gun frigates. My 74-gun uh, ship of the line will counter his 74-gun ship of the line, and then my 44, 14, and 14 will counter my own 36 and 36. We will see if he's able to cobble together a second larger warship by October, in which case I may have to build another one. Probably go for a 50. Keep getting smaller. Someday I may try for a first rate, but I don't think I want to try to build something on that scale. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, um, I don't have all the parts I need, definitely. Uh, I've, I've placed a very large BrickLink order. It has not shipped yet, but uh, one did arrive today that has allowed me to start working more on the, uh, on the base of the hull. Um, get the, the basic size down. This one is going to be a little bit smaller, obviously, than the 74, because it's only 64. And that is um, going to be in the form of both being six studs shorter and two studs narrower. So I just widened the hull on the 74. This one's going to be the previous width, which wasn't bad, but for a little bit of the extra detailing that I wanted to do on the big one, I needed to make it a little bit bigger. And so this one will be able to be a little bit smaller and will be a slightly simpler, less detailed um, ship. It probably won't have near as much internal detailing because there just isn't as much room. So most of the real fancy detail will go into the flagship, the big one, and then this one will be a little bit simpler internally, uh, which should save me some parts. It will be the same height, because um, I do still want the full-sized gun decks. I still want to be able to put some minifigs in there and have them, you know, standing full height. Um, so it won't be any shorter, uh, which actually does actually... Um, that, that design simplifies uh, a number of things and actually saves me parts, um, making it taller, oddly enough, because I was using bricks instead of plates in, in a couple of places. So I'm going to continue to uh, build out the, the, the frame, the, the basic hull. Um, a lot of it, uh, this one's going to be a lot simpler and is going to go together a lot faster because I don't have to do all of the design work anymore. I'm following mostly the same design as I did on the bigger one. It's just a little bit smaller. The bow will be the same, the midsection will be the same, the stern will be considerably different. Uh, this one is being modeled on the HMS Agamemnon, which does not have any stern guns, whereas the HMS Ajax that the, the big one is based off had four stern guns. So that's where four of the guns are being lost, and then by shortening it by six, I'm taking out um, six, six guns just with that. So that will get me down to the 74 guns I want, and I won't have any stern chasers, which is going to allow me to do a number of things different in the stern. Uh, it won't be too much different. There just won't be gun ports back there, and it might be a little bit lower, which might allow me to increase the size of both of the uh, rear cabins. We will see. I might be able to shorten the whole ship by a little bit back there. Um, but the bow will be very, very similar. Uh, it will be a little bit less detailed up there because, again, there's less room. Uh, the, the detailing in the front was one of the reasons I had to widen the hull on the bigger one. So that's where we stand. I am going to have to order cannon. Uh, the, the rest of the cannon, I think, I hope the rest of the cannon arrived for the, um, the big one. I might still be a few short, but I'm definitely going to need a full complement of guns for this one. Uh, luckily, I now have a good source that actually ships remarkably fast. So, okay, I think I have blathered enough, and I'm just gonna build a bit and see how far I'm able to get. I might be able to get some of the framing and planking, though I probably won't be able to get a whole lot. I would like to get as much of the bow done. Um, I've gone all the way back to so much for enough blather. Uh, <laughs> I've gone as far back. There's one more section that needs to go back here where the bow is going to be, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet, uh, but the bow is going to be the same as it was on the previous one, so I, sh I might be able to do that. I might not have the pots. We will see. We will see. Okay, now I've had enough bladder, and I shall build.
Right, that is where I will leave off for tonight uh, because it is late and I should go to bed. Um, I've got most of the bow all framed out or shaped out, most of the hull. Um, I'm short some um, planking of the deck uh, in here as well as some of the support beams that will need to go in there. Uh, I will have to acquire additional parts. But uh, so far, so good. I haven't finished the, the, the back of the stern because I might be doing it a little bit differently than I did on the previous one, but it's only another four bricks onto the end here. Uh, and I have started some of the basic ribbing. Um, this is where the cap stand will go. I have already got all of the channeling for that built in. Um, for most part, the only parts that I know I am now missing uh, is going to be some of uh, the, the planking and some one by various lengths of brown. So I will be placing another quick order in order to make sure that I have enough of those because I'm running low on sixes and eights uh, because <laughs> well, it turns out I need a lot of them. Um, and I used a lot of them on the last one. So I'm going to need to get some more of those. So, that is where it stands at the moment. I am well pleased with the progress. And uh, like I said, uh, it should go together a lot quicker from here. This was all kind of the complicated part because I wasn't entirely sure how this front part went together because I changed it so many times, but I'm pretty sure that is how it is. And then from there, it's just bricks, slanted bricks. Um, I will probably need more dark gray plates. So when I place the order for the brown, I will I will definitely, well, I know I'm gonna need more. I'm just not sure how many more. So I may hold off on actually placing that order until I get um, more of this first deck on and can really kind of take a look, uh, take stock of what I've got. I've got some, but I'm definitely gonna need more. Just not sure quite how many more. So that's where it is. Thank you for watching.